Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Man mud. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting, so you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your trap. Do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. That's one way to end the video. For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan. 
but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. 